Okay, let's try to knock out uh, a second video from me. So I found this channel this morning, uh, the Princetonian Piper. And he was reviewing a tobacco. Early morning pipe was his review. He had never tried it before. And he wanted to know if there was a bulk match blend for that. He didn't like it enough that the tin was worth it to him, but wanted to uh, possibly try a, copy, a copycat blend. Um, I don't know his name or I re would be referring to you by name. Uh, I just seen that one video of yours. So, I have something that is pretty close. Now, he did not like, well, I shouldn't say he didn't like it. it he, he, he get, his rating system was a five-star system, and it wasn't a five for him. For me, I love this. Yeah, this is a five for me. This is one of my five-star blends as far as, you know, in English. But having said that, I think I've got something that you could try that's very similar. I don't give it five stars. It's a three star for me, but it's very close. And because we're all so different in how we taste things and uh, interpret flavors and things, by the way, I'm still in the developmental stage of picking out the different notes in tobaccos. But over the past couple months, um, I've definitely seen an improvement. So uh, I'm getting better. I know that much. And I get the gist of it. I certainly get the gist of it. And I'm getting better at, you know, picking out some of the some of the flavors. So, what's my notes? A bulk match for EMP. Uh, he did compare it to Nightcap a couple times. I can't remember who, if he liked Nightcap. I've never tried Nightcap, so I can't compare this bulk match blend that I'm going to show uh, Smoke to Nightcap either because I haven't tried Nightcap. Um, yeah, so that's my notes. So we'll give it a try. I'll try to tell you how close I think it is to early morning pipe. I know this pretty good, um, as unrefined as my palate is. But I know this very well. And what the bulk match blend is, um, so I went to my local tobacconist, take that for what it's worth, and I asked the guy, because I was curious too. I liked this so much. If there was a bulk blend, I could substitute on occasion. I'd been interested. And this is what he referred. Uh, this is what he uh, recommended. Stokeby's proper English. And I can tell you, <clears throat> out of the jar... It's very close, very close. This is one of those, this is one of those uh, blends that if I mixed up the lids on the jars, I would not be able to tell which was which. It smells, I'm going to say identical to early morning pipe to me. Yeah. Yeah, it smells identical. But as we'll find out, it doesn't taste identical. Close, very close. But the smell, identical. It smells identical to that. So I can see where people would say, you know, yeah, it's uh, a match blend to early morning pipe. But uh, Stokeby, proper English, smells identical. Um... <clears throat> 
I just got a little short bowl today because it's going to be probably a pretty quick video, but uh, again, just like last video, I've got my Molina out. So let's give it a smoke and try to remind myself. Now, I don't smoke this regularly. I, I'm cellaring. You know, I bought, uh, I don't know, probably two or three ounces or something like that. And uh, I'm cellaring it because I really prefer early morning pipe. This is okay in a pinch, um, but I don't, it's not a regular blend for me. Just because I don't think it's great. But like I was saying, um, because you didn't like early morning pipe, you might like this because it might we might be opposite in, in some of what we prefer out of the two. I let my match go off. I feel a little rushed because I don't want the videos to be too long. Because I'm new at it and babbling and everything and I don't edit and I don't know how to do all that stuff and I suppose I could tag the channel VR but I don't know how to do any of that either so we're just gonna go with it <laughs> yeah okay I remember why I don't like it right now. So initially I get a a big blast this is how I interpret it I get a big blast of it's gonna sound funny you know when you're making <laughs> you know when you're making taco meat if you're making tacos for the evening and you open that taco taco seasoning packet the powder that you put in there and you get that kind of that smell, that kind of powerful, spicy smell that you get, I got, I get a big blast of that when I first light it and I don't care for it. <clears throat> I do not get that with early morning pipe. Definitely floral, a lot stronger on the floral notes than early morning pipe, which I don't care for. That's why it's, uh, I give it less stars just generally. A little bit of that soapiness, that kind of, uh, floral, soapy, kind of air freshener type thing. I mean, I make it sound bad, but some people like that. Less black pepper. Now, with early morning pipe, I get a lot of black pepper, um, you know, herb kind of shot and I enjoy that the other thing I do not enjoy about Stokeby's proper English as compared to early morning pipe In general, it's just a very strong, it's a stronger tobacco. It's a stronger, it's a more powerful experience. Mm -hmm. 
And at this stage, I really don't enjoy that. I don't like to be, you know, punched in the face just yet. So I would say if you thought early morning pipe was a little on the eh, you know, too mild, not enough zing, um, and you enjoy a little bit more of that floral as opposed to that spicy black pepper, then Stokeby, proper English, you'd probably like. Uh, I like early morning pipe because it is... I think it's got a little bit less of everything as far as strength than, than Stokeby's proper English. And it tastes different enough that I prefer early morning pipe. Uh, some of the nuance notes that's in Stokeby's, I'm not a fan of. And especially that, you know, first couple minutes of the bowl where it's just... <clears throat> It's just too much for me. I, I, I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy it. And I don't get that with early morning pipe. Early morning pipe is consistent from beginning to end. Stokeby starts out with a bang, and then as you smoke the bowl down, it kind of fades out. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, so... As far as the script description of it, I, I don't. I haven't watched a ton of tobacco reviews, so I don't know how to structure it. But that's just my uh, a beginner's perspective, I guess. I, I always try to refer or um, use descriptor words that of something edible because that's what I'm familiar with. I, I haven't learned all the, you know, I get the hay and the alfalfa and, and all that kind of stuff. And it, it makes sense because it's a scent, you know. And I have slung enough bales of hay to understand that experience, you know, when you, when you get it in your face and you're breathing it. And I get that. <clears throat> I haven't really got that out of a out of a tobacco yet, but I understand that descriptive element. I mainly smoke aromatics, so it's easier with that to use food descriptive descriptive words because they're, they're usually based off something edible, but proper, just tobacco. I'm still learning how to communicate what I'm experiencing. So for what it's worth, if there's things you don't like about early morning pipe, I think Stokeby's proper English is worth a shot because they're very close, very close. I just prefer more elements out of early morning pipe than I do Stokeby. So, okay. Well, I hope that helps somebody out. <laughs> um, just trying to get, just trying to get some videos under my belt so I can become more comfortable in front of the camera. But I, it was interesting that I, you know, over breakfast, I was just uh, bouncing around on YouTube and I found his channel and. Uh, I thought maybe I could help out a little bit with um, Stokeby's proper English as compared to early morning pipe. So, all right, everybody have a good day, and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.